everyone, Garage King here, and we have a problem. We have a no start. So we go to turn the key all the way, and nothing happens. So a quick way to uh, diagnose a no start is first things first, we should check if the fuel pump runs when we turn it on. So soon, as soon as we turn the key, so everything is on, that fuel pump should run. So let uh, me be quiet for a second, and we're gonna see if we can hear this fuel pump. So let's turn the keys, let's everyone be quiet. Let's turn up our computer speakers and see if we can hear from the inside of the car. Here we go. There we go, and I could hear the fuel pump. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the camera up outside just so you can hear um, what it sounds like from the outside in case you were not able to hear it from the inside. Okay, so I have the camera set up. Uh, here's a rear wheel, just like that. I'm gonna go turn the key and hopefully the phone will pick up the fuel pump. So that was our test. Hopefully the phone picked that up. And then we're gonna move to the next stage because we know our fuel pump is energizing. So we have our fuel pump. So next, our fuel pump running, sorry. So the next thing we have to do is check if our starter is uh, working or getting any power. So here's our starter right down there. I can pan right down there in the starter. It's uh, kind of tight. Anyway, there we go. There's a decent shot of it uh, right by the transmission dipstick. It's right underneath these two hoses. So that's our starter. Now, when I turn the key, I get a click and I think it's uh, I think it's the starter clicking. So let me set up the phone nice and close and let's see if it'll pick up the clicking of the starter. Now for a better view, what we're gonna do is let's just take off this top cover. So we're just gonna undo these couple things here, a couple little clips and we're gonna pull our cover right off because we're gonna be able to see a lot better with this cover off. So let's take it off. So now we got a good view of the starter, so I'm gonna go turn it and you tell me, or let's see if we can hear the starter clicking. Let's see if our camera picks it up. My load test, uh tool hooked up here you can see just like this so we're gonna pan in here and we're just gonna load test the battery real quick so once I flip this button it's gonna load the battery and there you can see it's holding so the battery although it's weak and it's probably weak because uh, this vehicle hasn't been started and we've been trying to start it so I would say the battery is still okay so that's good okay so lastly I have the battery hooked up sorry for the extra wire but it's just the way my leads were and I can see the battery is 12.1 volts. So it is low, but it is over 12 volts, so that's good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna crank it with this connected and let's see how much the voltage drops. That's important. Now, generally, you should not have a voltage drop more than about 0.5 of a volt, and it's all gonna depend upon the condition of your battery and your starter, but generally we shouldn't have more than half a volt. You can see I've got inside the vehicle there and it actually dropped a little bit, and now I'm gonna click it. And you can see we're getting probably close to half a volt is uh, what we're getting. So our voltage drop across our battery terminal is okay. Now, obviously, if I keep doing this, eventually we're going to kill the battery. But uh, generally, about you don't want to see more than half a volt. If you start getting like two, three volts, you probably have a bad connection somewhere and you want to fix that as well. Diagnosis on this vehicle, starter motor. That's what I would say we, uh, we need to replace, starter motor. This one was pretty easy. We listened for a few few things very easy for anyone to do all vehicles you should hear that fuel pump run now obviously if you have um, a carbureted car a really old car you're not gonna hear it run because the fuel pumps mechanical but any vehicle built uh, in, in the 90s or later they're all pretty much fuel injected you should hear that fuel pump run and then listen for that clicking and those are two very important things to listen for now if you if we didn't have clicking in the starter but we had our fuel pump there's a chance then we would be going in and we'd be checking our relays uh, but we don't need to do that because we know we're getting power to the starter because we've heard it click and also when i put my hand on here like this and i have an assistant um turn the key i can feel the clicking in the starter so i know the clicking is actually coming from the starter and not from uh, anywhere else so this vehicle needs a new starter Hopefully you've enjoyed this video on how to diagnose a no start here. Uh, if you have, I would appreciate if you would subscribe. Uh, any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below.